Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I cannot wait to meet him. It it's been ages since Constellation has like had I've someone new. I my whole life for this. I wonder what he's like. Constellation? And you must be the latest poor fool to get that dragged into our dysfunctional crazy. little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Funny how Aquila City reminds me of Neon, with the wealth planted right. in the middle We're here. and the poor at the periphery. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. that old mule saw this coming. There we do. 
I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. You're not wrong. I know, it's just... It's personal. <sighs> Alright, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? Ever wonder how the crimson feeds you? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. No, it's not that simple. You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> I'm still willing to talk. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, 
The readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave.
Spelunking can be a lot of fun. Nature can be just beautiful. Good empty cave can be fun. Keyword there, empty. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Sam Co in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the ash to away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. Nobody wants that. Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Do the 
victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? I guess I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Take it and get lost. Get out of here before I change my... We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. Your service, Captain. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's tool. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. <laughs>